Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here to uh, show you guys the latest version of the robot. The one that I made with uh, the stuff Instamorph here. Just cool, really easy to use plastic stuff. So I use that to make his body. Here's how it started, was I made this to hold, like, the batteries onto the body, and then I kind of just strapped on all the stuff on top. But it wasn't very cool looking. So this is how it ended up. And uh, basically, it's three parts. So I can pull the top off here. It's one part. Um, and then in here, it's like all the actual guts of it. And this comes off too, because you got to get access to that to plug everything in. So let's do that real quick. It takes a second. It's actually easier if I remove the XB. So here we go, plug in battery one, and plug in battery two, cool, so he's all powered up now, and uh, made it so the pieces clip on, I think I could still make them snap a little tighter, but it does the trick, uh, for now anyway. antenna back and of course strap on his sweet melon boom cool so I'm just walk him around a little bit here a little controller so as far as this part of it he's pretty much the same um, just I didn't tweak any of the the way he works when he's just being driven by remote control. But, um, I did change this mode, the autonomous mode, a little bit. So, like, if I don't drive him, I just have him kind of scan around and look for the better option. Instead of before, I had him just pan over to the right and pan over to the left and just see which one would seem to suit him. And now he'll actually, like, look all the way around. Or not all the way, but he kind of does a little. Here, I'll make him do it again. Really like that way. Basically, he's looking for the place that has the most space for him. So I can kind of trick him into going different ways. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and I did a test, you know, and it actually worked much better this way. He was actually able to just roam around the house pretty well without getting stuck on anything. Uh, so the only thing really missing on him is a bump sensor, so he can tell when he's touched something, like, with his feet. Oh, actually, that's new, too. Let me show you his sweet feet. So I had made him those little paddly type feet with the with the Sugru, but I don't know, they didn't really work that well and they weren't too even. So this is the new version. And uh, basically I chopped off the old feet and left little stumps and then I attached these with another piece of Sugru. I made these little three-toed feet, kind of inspired by like Tachikoma sort of looking foot from, you know, animation and stuff. But uh, I think they're pretty funny looking, which I like. And they work really well, too. He's got a nice grippiness, you know. It helps him stay balanced. Cool. So there he is, you know. The newest version of the hacked textbook spider. Now with 100% more derp. Derp. Oh, guys, I just realized that a very important part of him wasn't activated. He has this little status LED, and it shows you basically, you know, his, uh, it kind of does different stuff depending on the mode he's in, but it serves a useful purpose, which is, it just kind of gives you different status alerts. Like, every time it flashes there, it means that that measurement was further away than the previous one. So, anyway, I just thought I'd
show you how he looks with that. Because, uh, I don't know, he looks pretty cool, I think. <laughs> Alright, that's it.